Hello, everyone. Today we're going to read Winnie's Magic Wand, written by Valerie Thomas and Corky Paul, published by Oxford University Press. Winnie the Witch jumped out of bed. It was a special day. It was the day of the witch's magic show, and Winnie was making a wonderful new spell. She felt nervous. I hope nothing goes wrong, she said. Wilbur felt nervous too. I expect something will go wrong, he thought. What shall I wear? said Winnie. She got out her party dress. Oh no, she had spilt red jelly on it. Winnie threw the dress into the washing machine. Then she threw in her towels, her pyjamas and her stripy tights. She turned on the washing machine. Swish, swish, clunk, it went. When the washing machine had finished going swish, swish, clunk, Winnie took out the clothes and hung them on the line. But her magic wand had been washed as well. Oh no! I hope it still works, said Winnie. Winnie dried the wand with a towel. I'll try it out, she said. Something easy. I'll change this apple into an orange. She closed her eyes, waved her wand and shouted, Amracadabra! Suddenly, there was an apple tree growing in her kitchen. Bother, said Winnie. That one's not working properly. Winnie dried the wand with her hair dryer. That's better, she said. I'll try again. I'll turn this apple tree back into an apple again. She picked up the wand and shouted, Abracadabra! This time, the apple tree turned into an enormous apple apple pie. Oh no, oh no, Winnie moaned. Now she really was worried. It was nearly time for the magic show. The wonderful new spell would be a disaster. Wilbur was worried too. Then Wilbur had an idea. He ran out of the house down the road and into the town. Perhaps he could find a new wand for Winnie. He looked in all the shops, but no magic wands. Then around the corner, he saw a little shop. In the window was a big box of wands. Wilbur grabbed one and galloped off home. It was getting late. Soon it would be too late for the magic show. Winnie was very, very worried. What could she do? Then Wilbur ran through the cap flap with the new wand. Oh, Wilbur, cried Winnie. You are a clever cat! She didn't even have time to put on her party dress. She jumped on her broomstick, Wilbur jumped onto her shoulder and off they went. They arrived just in time for Winnie's spell. Everyone was sitting there, feeling excited. Winnie always did something special. First, announced Winnie, I will turn my beautiful black cat into a green cat. 
she waved her wand and shouted, Abracadabra! Wilbur waited. Everyone waited. Winnie tried again. Nothing. At last, a bunch of paper flowers popped out of the end of the trick wand. One of the witches started to laugh. Soon, everyone was laughing. They laughed, they screamed, they shrieked and fell off their chairs. What a clever joke, Winnie, they cried. Where did you get that wand? Winnie smiled, but she didn't say anything and neither did Wilbur. And that's the end of story time. Remember, if you liked it, subscribe today to English Lessons Online. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.